Hi guys, it's me Jessie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make my summer day dress. This is a cottage cost dress with a little vintage vibe. It's also kind of like a fitted dress, but what I love the most from this dress is that you can control how tight the dress to your body. So you don't have to worry if you're gonna gain a little bit weight in the future or uh, your belly getting bigger after eating you still gonna feel comfortable in this dress that's why i hope you guys will like it and try it out and let's get started the first step is making the pattern for the dress to make the front bodice pattern i draw a rectangle with 20 cm width which is a quarter of my bust size and 26 cm length which is the length from above the bread to 2 cm above the belly button From the top width line, I draw a horizontal line at 12cm under it. It's the width from above to under the bread. From one end of the top width line, I mark to inside 14cm, which is the half width of the inside shoulder side. From the other end of the top width line, I mark down on the length line 5cm, which is the dip of the under ambic line, then connect two marks together. Based on it, I draw a slightly curved line to create a sleeve line for the front bodice. From one end of the horizontal line, I mark up on the length line 3cm. From the other end of it, I mark down on the length line 1cm, then I connect two marks together. Based on it, I draw a slightly curved line to create the under bust line for the front bodice. From the top of the length line, I mark down 2 cm, then connect that mark to the top of the sleeve line to create the top bust line for the front bodice. At the end of the length line, I draw an extra 4 cm, then connect it to the end of the other length line to create the slanted line at the end of the front bodice. I mark in the middle of the bottom width line foot, then I draw a straight line through it and cut the horizontal line and the slanted line. From the middle mark, I make two more marks at 1cm to side of it, so the width of the bottom width line without them will be 18cm, which is a quarter of my waist side plus 1cm. Then connect this mark to the cutting point on the horizontal line. After cutting, we will have two pieces of the front bodice, then add in 1cm for seam allow and after that. At the top part of the front bodice, I cut it in half foot, then I extend the width around 5cm to create a gathering fabric for the bust there, then redraw the pattern after that. And here are the final patterns of the front bodice. Moving to the back bodice pattern, I draw a rectangle with 20cm width, which is a quarter of my bust side, and 21cm length, which is the length of the side line of the front bodice that I just made before. I use the bottom V of the side line to continue the slanted line at the end of the front bodice to the back bodice. At the other side of the bottom width line, I mark up 1cm. Then draw a line from that mark and make the continued ending line just drew before. After that, I draw a straight line to divide the rectangle into two equal parts. At the end of this straight line, I make two marks at 1cm to side of it, then connect them to the top of the straight line. And we will have to piece it on the back bodice part and after cutting. Don't forget to add one centimeter for seam allowance for them after that. The skirt pattern for this dress are quite simple and basic. Here are the front and the back skirt pattern. Now 
Now let's start sewing this dress. I use two meter of lightweight soft cotton fabric in the floral printing for this dress and two meter of thin cotton fabric in white for lining. I started making the front bodice first. I connect two pieces of the side part to the middle part. After the first seam, I make one more seam outside to keep on the end fabric to one side. At the top part of the front bodice, I make two loose seams at the under bust like fit. Then I create the gathering fabric layer later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be the same as the bust line at the bottom part of the front bodice, so we can connect them together later. At the top of the front bodice, I make two loose seam fit. Then I create a gathering fabric layer later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be 14 cm, which is a half of the inside shoulder. Moving to the front skirt part, I make two loose seams at the top of the front skirt foot. Then I create a gathering fabric layer later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be the same at the ending line of the front bodice, so we can connect them together later. And here's the front dress after on. Doing the same to make the lining part for the front dress. To make the corset look at the back, I need to make the hole for the tie fit. I cut a long rectangle with 3cm width and around 50cm length. I connect two lane lines of the rectangle together first, then upside it up sewing and iron to keep the folding. After that, I cut it into 10 small pieces with 5cm length each one. At the middle piece of the back bodice, I make the position for the fabric covert. Then I add them to the position and sew to keep them stay together. After that, I keep connecting two side parts of the back bodice to the middle part. At the top of the back skirt, I make two loose seam foot. Then I create a gathering fabric layer later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be the same at the end of the back bodice, so we can connect them together later. And here's the back dress after on, using the same way to make the lining for it. Now I'm connecting the front and the back of the dress together at the side lines. However, I just connect at one side and keep the zipper side open. After that, I add a 30cm length invisible zipper at that side. To make the shoulder strap for the dress, I cut a rectangle with 16cm width, which is two times the width of the shoulder strap that I want, plus 2cm for seam allowance, and 40cm length, which is the length of the shoulder strap from the front to the back, 
blood to send me the vaccine allowance. I connect two lane lines of the table together first, then I upside and iron it to make it nicer. At two sides of the shoulder strap, I make two loose seam foot, then I create a gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be around 2cm. To make the tie at the front of the dress, I cut a rectangle with 4cm width, which is two times the width of the tie, plus 2cm for seam allowance, and around 40cm length. I connect two length lines of the rectangle together first, then I upside and iron it later. Now I'm connecting one end of the shoulder strap to the top of the front bodice. Make sure to keep one centimeter of a seam allowing at the edge of the fabric. And the other end of the shoulder strap will be connected to one side of the middle back bodice. The tie will be at two sides of the middle bust area. Then sewing to connect them on to the dress. After that, I connect the lining to the dress at the top added lines. Make sure the right side of the fabric will face each other and sewing. After the first seam, I make an understitching seam at the top of the lining part to keep on the end fabric to one side. And here's how it looks after ironing. I keep connecting the lining of the dress at the zipper line and connect the rest of the side line after that. Make sure you connect them separately between the dress and the lining. At the end of the dress, I fold the end fabric inside to time with 1cm each time and sew to finish it. You also need to finish the ending line of the dress separately between the dress and the lining as well. At the back bodice, I make the seam next to the fabric hole to keep the dress and the lining together. Then I make the long tie with around 2cm long to go through the fabric hole to create a corset look at the back of the dress. And I finished this dress. Here's my final result. This is uh, the pretty cottage dress. It's the perfect one for the summer day. I hope you guys will like it and try it out soon. See you next week.